The rise of gender violence has reached a worrying level in the country and the family setup is facing a big crisis as spouses turn to crude weapons to vent their anger and frustrations. It is a situation that Gender Cabinet Secretary Cecily Karaoke once addressed urgently. The Cabinet Secretary, alongside her Labour counterpart Phyllis Candie, visited Jacqueline Mwende, whose hands were chopped off by her enraged husband, saying those behind such heinous acts should be denied bail and slapped with severe jail terms. It's wrong. Um, it what happened to her and 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 it should be something that uh, should pop the conscience of this country um, but that's not the direction we should we should be going in terms of really trying to settle um, uh, you know family disputes The sentiments came even as women members of county assemblies drawn from like Kipia and Kiambu counties expressed concerns over the rising cases of gender violence. The women leaders who were meeting in Naivasha said it was shocking to see how women have been reduced to mere objects in their marriages with violence taking a toll in family unions. We know very well that the government has not been able to invest uh, well in uh, issues of GBV and this is a, something that we really need to, to work on. So. We want to pray that uh, what has happened to Mwende uh, will put more impetus in the government and the executive arm to see the need to establish shelters. If you can have shelters in all our counties so that the women who are being battered, the, the men also, because we also have GBV cases on men who are, who are being uh, you know, are victims, can have places where solace and they can also uh, get the required support that they need. With affirmative action in the Constitution, we have come somewhere. We cannot say nothing has been done, but yet we are not yet to the mark. We continue calling on you, our women. Please support that woman who is in your village, who is calling forth for a seat, come 2017, or even any other appointment seat, so that we get to multiply our numbers, both in the county assemblies and even in the national assemblies, so that we can be in a position to articulate women issue and drive the women agenda for they're now proposing the setting up of a special fund to assist victims of gender-based violence.